Duh. Look at that. Today we have another first impression video. We have the 7 Hz Diogo and the finalized version of the Dunu Vulcan. Hey friends, Timmy back now on Giz Audio and excuse my voice, I am sick. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm very sick, but I still want to get a video out to you guys. Don't worry, you won't catch my sickness through the screen. So you're fine. You can sit there, relax. You don't have to put your mask on or anything like that. Just enjoy the video. So let's first unbox the Diogo, this highly requested IM. Now I know there's been some bit of news on the Diogo as of its launch. There's been some filter mishaps with some batches, but I have confirmed with Kryn himself that all future batches from now on will be safe. So rest assured, if you get a Diogo now, it won't have any issues. So that was the front of the box. Let's just snap this thing open and pull it out. Look at that. Just, oh, I think that's the carrying case <laughs> or that's the box. It's definitely unique because most of the time you get a box with the IEM inside and all that, but this is a leather case. Now don't tell me that this is the carrying case. Open this thing up. Pa! Oh, look at that. This is the carrying case. There's no other case that comes with it. This gigantic honker of a thing is the carrying case. But if you're looking to carry like a couple IEMs and some accessories, this is really heavy duty. So inside you have the Dioko sitting in there alongside some tips. Very generous amount of tips here. I count like four or five different pairs. Really nice for a $99 IEM. I might actually use this for something else in the house. <laughs> so one thing we have to touch on with the Dioko is definitely the design. Now I don't normally touch on design so much because a lot of IEMs kind of look very similar. You change the resin shell, whatever it is, it looks very similar. But this, this looks different. And I don't know if I like the design so much. It kind of looks like a purple jewelry thing. You know, like I don't know how it looks around my ears, but it looks a bit much, you know, maybe tame it down a little bit in the next release, maybe seven hertz. <laughs> it doesn't have to be this fancy extravagant. <laughs> I just don't know if I like the look so much, but more important than the looks is the sound. And today's song is going to be on the screen. I haven't decided yet, but it's, it's this one right here. And of course, we'll be listening to that song on my trusty M11 Plus by Fio. Let's see how this fits around my ears. <laughs> Feels big in hand, but it's pretty, I would say comfortable. Fits like a glove, sealed, is pretty good. I don't hear anything around me. Great isolation. Let's play the song. So, my first impression of this thing. <sighs> I can't believe this is $99. <laughs> This sounds really good. Tuning wise, it is what you expect from Clinical Neutral. The mid range is very clean, vocals come across very natural, and I wouldn't say the most lively in this one, but natural and full. It's not thin or it's not warm in any way, it's just a natural, clean mid range. And the bass on this has some power behind it. Although it doesn't hit with the most, I would say, impact. I I don't feel like it has that kind of punch that makes me, you know, makes my heart pump or anything like that. But there's power behind the bass, there's slam behind the bass, it's overall a satisfying feeling bass. But I think it can do a little bit better there. I think the slam can be a little bit more dynamic, if you will. The only issue I have in regards to the tuning is in the treble area. It's not the most clean or the most even experience. Female vocals does have this kind of weird metallic -y, I would say planar-ish timbre that's really highlighted by some of the peaks in the treble area here. All in all, just not the smoothest experience. But I'm back to the fact that it's $99, the rest of the frequency range is done very well. Now, what's impressive to me is the technical performance. The detail level on this is great for the price. Now, I'm very excited to compare this thing to like a Dunu Titan S or to the Moondrop Aria just to see how the level of details there compare. But off the top of my head, this performs 
really well for the price. For being $100, $99, the technical performance of it is quite nice, it's impressive. Moving on to the next IEM, we have the Vulcan by Duno, the Finnish Vulcan. If you guys remember, I did a first impression video of the pre-production Vulcan. Now, truth be told, I don't remember too much about the pre-production Vulcan that was a few months ago. I've sent the unit back just ages ago and I don't remember exactly what it sounds like anymore, but I remember thinking it was decent. So let's see if they improve or fix any of the issues that I remembered I mentioned a long time ago. Standard do new amazing box presentation. Look at that. This reminds me of the EST112 type unboxing experience. Just real nice. Do new cables when it comes to their higher end IEMs feel premium. Love their cable. Inside the box, of course, we have tips. We have different terminations and the carrying case lives in here. The carrying case is blue, just like all the other Dunus. Come on, man. <laughs> Change it up a little bit, maybe. And of course, the look at the tips. Look at that. So as far as I know, I think they kept the exact same design as a pre-production unit. Kind of this hydro dip design. Really cool. Almost like a lava-ish thing. I dig it. Now let's play the exact same song. Let's go. So I have really good feelings for this IEM, but at the same time, not so good feeling. Let me explain. Let's start with the good feelings first. This really reminds me of the tuning style that I like in my favorite IEM, the Anoli VX. It has a very referency style of tuning to it with emphasis in the bass and the treble area. Now the treble on the Anoli VX highlights so many little nuances in the song. The Anoli VX is one of the most resolving IEMs I've ever tried and that's why I love that thing so much. And the tuning style that is a little bit more, I would say less engaging in the upper mid range works extremely well with something as resolving as the VX. That being said, although this follows a similar, off the top of my head right now, it sounds similar to the Anola VX, it does not. And this is where the bad feeling comes in. It does not have the same resolvability as the VX. Not that I expect that, but I kind of expect it to be a little bit more resolving. It's tuned well, I would say, uh, because it's tuned similar to the VX, but technicality wise, it kind of not at the level you would want for something $300, at least off the top of my head right now. I haven't compared to any other IEM. Is it similar to the pre-production unit? This I really can't say with 100% certainty, but it sounds different. From memory, it sounds different from the pre-production unit. But yeah, I don't wanna say way too much right now because this is just a first impression. I still have to A-B it with the VX to see for sure if this actually sounds close to the VX tuning-wise, or does it sound more closer to something else, or maybe not close to anything else at all. And also compare this to other IEMs within the same price range, of course, to see if the technical performance of this is actually where I just mentioned that it was, or is my brain just playing tricks on me because I'm comparing it to the VX, and of course, it's not gonna be as resolving as the VX. Maybe my brain is just dumbing this thing down for me. Again, I have to test this out further to confirm you guys all the details. But for now, for the purpose of this video, it is a love and a hate all at the same time. Very mixed feelings. Now let's do a quick recap of the Sounds No Diogo and the Vulcan, today's first impression I am. So the Sounds No Diogo, I would say tuning wise for $99 is pretty much fantastic. You're gonna love the bass and the sub bass that's in here. The mid range is very clean, well separated from the bass, which I love and the overall energy in the upper mids is sufficient. The treble is not my favorite. I wish it was smoother. I wish it was more even, but again, $99, I can forgive that. There's actually no IEM under $100 that I know of 
that does travel well. Sal's no Diogo just joins the party there. It's no difference from like the Aria, which also fumbles in the trouble area. So it's not really a big deal. The Vulcan. Love it and hate it. Already explained it. Don't need to go over that again, I think. That's it for this first impression video today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for, you know, listening to my sick voice and not feeling sick of it. <laughs> With that being said, I'll see you guys in another video. Peace out. And oh, subscribe. Stay tuned for the review, of course. Why not? You're already here. Bye. <laughs>